First thing to do is switch on the router. Switch this green button on. If it won't come on, turn the emergency stop clockwise. If the extractor is on, you can remove it with these wing nuts here. There's another one on the other side you can't see for uh, the video. Take that off. There'll be a piece in there potentially if it's the size of that you want. Uh, as for my cutter, that's a 6mm, I'm happy with that. Go to the PC and open the VIC control system. We want to press all axes to bring everything back to zero. Make sure that you have no arms or fingers anywhere near before you do that. If the, the program is already turned on, you can find that option in operation and move to reference point and there it is there. Now you want to zero both the X and the Y directions. Go to File, Open and Load, navigate to where your file is stored, click on it, open. That has now opened the file up in NC Studio. You can see there my name at the top. I've had my material cut. I'm going to place this on the vacuum table. If you're going to cut all the way through as I am, you need this mat on with the holes in it and place my material on. Collect the calibration tool from the top of the machine. It has a crocodile clip on it. Remove that clip. Place the calibration tool underneath the router bit and attach the crocodile clip to the bit. Go to NC Studio. Click on the manual tab at the right and use the key for Z to move the closer to the calibration tool like this. You can do that with the number keys if you want. Click on calibrate, OK, hold it down with your finger so it's flat and that will move the bit to the calibration piece. When it touches it, it'll pop back up, take the calibration tool away. Put the zero jig onto the edge of the router table and place your workpiece into the corner of it like so. We're going to have a look at their vacuum table now. These two valves I'm going to need to switch on. This one and this one. I'm only switching two on because they line up with my workpiece like that. There's nothing past those two, thus I don't need to switch those ones on. To improve the suction of the vacuum table, I'm going to put this mat over that doesn't have any holes in it. That means that if the workpiece isn't touching it, it should be covered with a mat to improve the suction, like this. I'm going to go to Operation in NC Studio and set Workpiece Coordinate and set that to minus 100 and minus 100 in the X and Y boxes. This will mean it starts right where the jig ends. OK that. Now I'm going to simulate uh, with the Simulate button to see if everything looks OK. It will show you what it's going to do. If it will not fit onto the window, then you can go to View and Fit to Window. You notice a few yellow error messages came up there. That's nothing to worry about as long as it looks okay here. I would recommend you have your teacher check that just to make sure there are no issues with it and everything looks okay. At this point, move the Z-axis us with NC Studio manually and reattach the extractor. Head around to the left of the router, you'll find an emergency stop button. Turn it clockwise, that will switch on the vacuum table and the extractor. Just check that your work is held firmly, like this. If it is, move up to the play button in NC Studio, hit play, a few seconds for the spindle to start, and it will start cutting your material. That will take a little while, but once it's finished, with a little bit of sanding, a little bit of finishing, you'll have some nice, well-cut pieces.